Welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. Today I'd like to show you a demonstration on the new calculus derivative and the mainstream derivative, not the mainstream derivative. Uh, so this is what I call Cauchy's Kluge on the right hand side and uh, the new calculus on the left hand side. So, as you can see, if we move the parallel secant line, this is the blue lines here, the dark blue lines are the tangent lines, and these lines here are the secant lines. And if we uh, close the distance, um, as we do in the mainstream calculus, like so, uh, You'll, you'll notice that on the right hand side here, this here is never equal to the slope of the tangent line. But in the new calculus, it's always the correct value. Okay, so it doesn't matter what you do there, you'll always have a 4 on this side, and on this side here, you'll never have the correct value. But what this tells you here is that the limit or the derivative is defined as the limit of these finite differences of a non-parallel secant line. And that's not very accurate. It's not accurate at all, in fact, and it's uh, basically just a kluge method of finding the slope of the tangent line or the derivative. Now, once the finite difference here is in this particular form, then there is no derivative, so it's not even defined at h. And as you can see over here, to get to the limit, you have to place a zero in h. Okay, so really, setting h equals to zero is equivalent to finding the limit. Doesn't matter how you want to clothe it, whether you want to use epsilonics or anything else. Um, what you end up having to do, in fact, is setting h to zero, which is a contradiction because you start off uh, simplifying this ratio here and treating h as if it's non-zero, and then after you simplified it, h is zero. Now, this never happens in the new calculus, as you can see, because the parallel secant line never has a zero-zero pair, so it doesn't matter how close you get. And let me demonstrate this to you over here. So if you look at this particular diagram here, okay, and all these pairs here, can you see M, N pairs? M is the horizontal distance from the point of tangency to the N point of the secant line. And N, which is this line here, this little orange line, is also horizontal distance to this N point of the parallel secant line. And of course, if you bring them close together like that, you'll see that m here and n get closer and closer to zero. But when you do that, no secant line here, none of these parallel secant lines have a zero, zero pair. And you can actually substitute m or n here for any of these parallel lines, or after you simplify the quotient, you can substitute m and n0 in this expression here, which is called the auxiliary equation. You can only do this in the new calculus, but not in the mainstream calculus. And there is no division by zero in the new calculus, because uh, there is never an m and pair that is zero. But if you look at the proof on my webpage, you'll see that this particular value here has to be zero. And I prove it using eighth grade algebra on my web page. You can go there and take a look and see how it's done. All right, so ultimately this expression here is always zero, as you can see down here. It doesn't matter which mm pair you use. So you can move this along like that, and um, <laughs> the result of this auxiliary equation will always be zero. All right, so so the new calculus is rigorous. It's based on analytical geometry, <clears throat> unlike the mainstream calculus, which is uh, using limits that require 
the previous establishment of real numbers and there is no valid construction of real numbers. So the auxiliary equation in this case is quite simple. It's n minus m equals to zero. But as you can see over here, it's quite complex for this particular equation here. It turns out to be this whole expression down here. And all I've done is I've substituted values in so that you can see what's actually happening as you move this across. Okay. Now, um, this is pretty much it. This is a simple little demonstration showing you uh, a, der a derivation in the new calculus and also the mainstream calculus. And obviously the mainstream calculus is flawed. Uh, this sequence of steps here is <laughs> really just a kludge. Um It was never rigorized. And so, anyway, this is a small little presentation. I will try to uh, give you some more examples in a future video. So, in the meantime, um, feel free to comment on this video and click like. And uh, we'll chat again in another episode or another video sometime in the future. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye.